You know, in the beginning when we started missions, just obeying the Lord to go around the world, we didn't have it all figured out. We don't want to pretend here after 40 years of marriage and missions that we have all this nailed down. What we had was in a commitment to the Word of God. And I think you felt very strong about yes, that, didn't you? very much so. And so we just went through the Word. Okay, how does this work? How does marriage work? How, how do kids fit into this? We didn't have a presumption ahead of time um, and no presuppositions like, well, we're not going to do kids now. We're going to wait till later because they're in the way and we couldn't bring them into the mission field or, you know, we have to travel and that doesn't work with kids or we don't have money and we have to buy our own airline tickets. We didn't do any of that analysis. What we did was just go into the Word of God before the Lord and listen to the Holy Spirit and say, we'll go anywhere you want us to go. We'll do anything you want us to do. And we know from the Word of God that marriage and children are one deal. You don't break that, separate that. You're married with the idea you're gonna have children and they're a multi-generational blessing. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that's it, the key? Yeah, absolutely. I would add to that also that children are a bridge in the mission field. And, and just life in general, I have been able to share my faith with more people because of my children, not, not because I have too many children. Because my children connect me with people locally in my own neighborhood, but it also globally, when you bring a child into the mission field, what happens? Everyone just gravitates to that child. They think that child is adorable. They want to take pictures. They want to talk to you because they see family as natural in many mission fields around the world. It's unnatural maybe even to go in as one person, but to go in a family, it's very natural. Opens it up. In cultures. We watched this all over, didn't we? Yes. You sit down with other families and meals, but really important here, and we both believe this strongly, the first mission's command in the scriptures to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, then exercise dominion. 